Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dino. Make sure to share this video, to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all these links you can find down below. And I would like to hear back from you to see if these tips actually help. So today let's start with tip number one. So you are the chosen one for recital uh, by your teacher and now you're probably trying to figure out what you have to do uh, that day before your performance. Tip number one is be prepared. Your teacher should give you plenty of time uh, to prepare your piece to get over every part. Remember we were talking before and I will uh, uh, put suggested link above uh, how you can practice. So you need to be able uh, to play piece from the beginning to the end without making mistakes. But you know, give yourself a pass. You will probably make some small mistakes. We are human beings. So e even if you're playing for so long or you just started, it's okay to make mistakes. So thing number one is be prepared. So make sure that you, uh, you know how to play your piece from the beginning to the end, same tempo, without making mistakes. And um, tip number two is a very important one. You have to get a good night sleep. So no watching movies till like 2 a.m. <laughs> or uh, playing game or being on social medias or if you're an adult going out and celebrating with your friends, try to go to bed a little bit earlier so you can get a good night's sleep. And don't be nervous, it's, it's fine, it will be okay. Tip number three, when you wake up in the morning, make sure that you're having your breakfast. Nice, healthy breakfast. Um, and then after that, uh, tip number four would be create a pre-performance uh, routine. We need to, you need to decide what you're going to wear. I'm always suggesting to all my students, if, if I have, um, you know, girl, girls, students or females, if they're adults, have some nice dress, uh, make sure that your hair is not in your face. Uh, wear some comfortable shoes where you can have, um, where you can feel your pedal if your song is uh, is requiring uh, pressing your pedal. Uh, for for boys or for guys, if they're adults, um, is just have some nice pants, usually khakis, and a nice business shirt and uh, nice shoes, so you can be able to uh, to press that pedal. Now, when I'm talking about shoes. It's a good idea when you are at home that uh, when you're practicing, that you're practicing in your shoes. So that way, you know, you will you will get that feeling uh, how to press pedal and, and um, it, it will be different. You know, when we are playing with our bare feet at home and then we put our shoes on, it just feels a little bit weird. So just make sure to do that. Um, if you're really um, anxious and nervous person, which you know, 80% of, of us are. I remember my first performance, I was crying. <laughs> That's how scared I was. So to avoid all that, maybe it would be good if you're playing in front of your parents, your friends, your your siblings, your, your grandparents. So people that you're really comfortable with, make sure to practice your bar. Make, make sure uh, that um, when you sit down to adjust your chair, Always make sure that distance between uh, your key and your chair is your elbow. Put both feet on the floor and then take the take a deep breath and then start playing. And if you make a mistake, smile. No one needs to know that you made a mistake. Just important that you smile, that you're deep, breathing deep and it will be fine. Tip number five, five is uh, keep it mellow. Uh, this is the one that I, I, I just added to, to the list because um, I, was, I was just trying to remember when I was a student, you know, how was I reacting and um, I'm really nervous type of person. So 
day of performance I would be really angry for no reason and then I would be just looking for someone so I can fight with so I can just put that energy out so it's really important that you keep it mellow you don't want to be stressed you don't want to fight with anybody if that means that you will not be going on your social medias for for that day trust me nothing will happen it's okay it's okay if you leave Facebook and Instagram for one day that's fine world will not end um tip number six is do a warm-up so warm-up exercise uh, should include scales but slow again you have to practice slow make sure to check my other video on um on practicing where i'm talking slow 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 all the time and it's really important so do your warm-up exercise do your scale i would say for you know two three minutes play scales play chords if you really want to play your your recital song then you can do it but um, make sure to do it slowly because you don't want to play fast it's always not a good idea to play your piece at least two three hours before per, uh, performance in fast tempo if you want to play it play it slowly tip number seven is don't practice excessively so i just said that uh, don't practice your song anymore you know it if your teacher said to you that you are able to do a recital then trust your teacher they we know what we are saying if if we know that you are not ready for that recital we will let you know because you have to remember we are putting our name on that on that piece of paper and everybody will be um, talking about us as teachers not you so trust your teacher if they say that you are able to play in that recital then you definitely are so no no need to practice that day all day because you will, you will just mess it up uh, tip number eight is this is probably just like one or one and a half hour before uh, your recital eat just banana don't have big meal don't have sweets because you will just be nauseous you don't want that so eat that banana drink your water and just breathe and keep your positive energy flowing that's very important tip number one nine is i just said smile and deep breathing it's important when it's your turn to get out on the stage and play that when you sit down on the chair not immediately start playing you sit down you collect yourself you, you put yourself together and you breathe you inhale, you exhale a few times, that will help you with your heart rate. You put your fingers on the piano, you're still breathing. And I always, what I do when I sit down, I close my eyes and I try to sing my first and second measure of the song. That will help, that helps me with uh, choosing what tempo I'm going to play the song in. Will I go fast? Will I go slow? You know go over all these things and once you're ready for all of that start playing and it will be fine you get you you make a mistake you get over that and you keep playing it's important that your performance what when you're performing that you're going from the beginning to the end without stopping so that's not your lesson that's your performance and tip number 10 celebrate it's so good when you finish your performance you should be really proud of yourself you accomplished something huge not everybody have chance to do, to go and just play uh in front of people um i'm not saying that we as teachers are looking that performance as oh you know they did so good or oh he did so bad oh i, I no for us, performance is just to see how you're going to interact with public. That just gives us more ideas what we need to add to your lesson. We already know that you're good. We already know that. That performance, it will not change anything. So, good luck. I will stop right here. These are my 10 tips for uh, that you should do before your recital performance. Um, Please let me know if this 
is helpful to, helpful to you. Um, and good luck to, uh, with your first performance or if you already play for a few years, I believe that you're getting really good. Um, I will end here, here. Please make sure to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm posting daily tips on there, on your practicing and everything else. Feel free to uh, message me if you have any questions. I'm here for you. So my purpose of recording these videos is to help people uh, who are just in beginning because I know how hard it is. That's why I'm here. Um, I will leave you here. Please subscribe. Check these videos here and then I will see you in the next one.